47, this is Diana. We require your services once again, and this time you will have to prove your money's worth. Our client has lost some cargo, which he wants back at any cost. It appears to be stolen by a bunch of renegades armed to the teeth. The cargo is hidden somewhere in the desert. This is a two-stage mission. First, you must eliminate Lieutenant Ahmed Zahir and get a map from him. It shows the location of the cargo. He's quite weak, has a pacemaker, and goes for a nap every day after noon prayers. So this is a good time to eliminate him without raising any suspicions. If the alarm is sounded, the mission will fail. He is well guarded and behind locked doors, where only his trusted personal bodyguards have keys and access. Both his and the guards' quarters are situated in front of the palace. When this is done, you will have to kill Colonel Mohammed Amin and steal the key he's holding. It's an important part of the cargo. Call me when you're done with the lieutenant, and I will brief you on the whereabouts of the colonel. On the video, you can see both targets. It's the lieutenant entering the house. I repeat, eliminate the lieutenant without any alarm. Get the map and call me for further information. All right, Diana. Let's take a look at the map first. Okay, so we start around here. The lieutenant's quarter is quite close to our starting point. We have the guard quarter there, and the reason there's an exclamation point there is because there's an SVD sniper in this building, which you can use to snipe the colonel who will be patrolling inside the bazaar. And uh, there are open windows on the roof of the bazaar, which you can use to uh, snipe him. And then we must exit through this gate. Sounds simple enough, right guys? So let's see what we're going to take with us. <laughs> uh, I'm only going to take the anesthetic, just as always. Probably. Right at the start of the mission, we get a glimpse of the colonel entering the bazaar area. And Diana said, we have to take out the lieutenant first and only then take out the colonel, which means we're going to do the exact opposite. Oh yeah, we're going to be seeing this guy again very, very soon. But first, while we are here, we might as well take a look at some of the tourist attractions. And by that, I mean the palace. That building over there is uh, where the lieutenant is located on the upper floor. And there's the palace. The colonel will make a run for the palace if the alarm is raised. So, yeah, pretty nice. <laughs> okay. Now, this is the guards' quarters, where we shouldn't be in, with the SPD sniper and some ammo, and a rather interesting uh, poster for uh, a movie called Challenge of the Ninja. There is nothing more terrifying than the ninja. I'm curious if this movie actually exists, and I would really like to see it just because uh, <laughs> of the fact that the poster is in uh, this game. Now, unfortunately, there is no way to snipe the lieutenant from this place. This would have been a perfect sniping spot, but as you can see, there's this big wall blocking our view of uh, the lieutenant's window. So, that's impossible. Oh yeah, there's also a ladder here which you can use to uh, gain access to the guards' quarters. However, if uh, you're dressed as the colonel, you can just walk in there and take the sniper rifle and uh, walk around town with it because the guards won't be upset about it. They won't start shooting at you. Okay then, let's, uh, let's go into the bazaar. We will leave the lieutenant to rest for a bit, well, a few more minutes. This is how you gain access to the roof 
and all those open windows allow you to uh, snipe the colonel. But that's really not the best the best way to uh, go about this, because uh, there are a bunch of civilians inside the bazaar, mainly sellers, and um, the colonel is also guarded by his trusty bodyguard. There he is, the bastard. He likes to um, go from cellar to cellar and uh, get into fights with them and slap them around for some reason. Uh. Oh, what are you guys selling? Fruit? Oh, do you hear that? Yeah, they're fighting. Okay, so let's see. Very nice. Okay, so the best way to uh, kill him is when he comes in this little place to uh, smoke a cigarette from time to time. Let's just take a look at where he is right now. Okay, he's going to uh, this cellar to slap him around a bit. You just stalk him from a distance. And when he comes uh, here to smoke a cigarette, his bodyguard will actually stand outside and guard the place. You'll have his back turned. Uh, to the colonel, and that's when we're going to uh, make our move. <laughs> yeah, this is one of the easier missions in the game, in my opinion. And uh, this is, in part, one of the problems with the game. This inconsistency between difficulty levels. You would have uh, one hard mission and then an easy mission, or vice versa. So, uh, That's one thing that definitely uh, got improved. Well, look at you. You don't have a lot of things. Look at this guy, for example. He has a lot of baskets with different sorts of fruit. Some pottery over here, but there's no one uh, attending to them. Okay. Okay, guys, let's get ready for this. Here he comes. That's right. The music gets more tense. I'm going to go into position and get ready for this. Okay. Okay. Dude, you're going down. That's right, smoking is bad for you, dude. If he didn't have this nasty habit, he probably never would have come into uh, this little place and... Well, I wouldn't get the chance to kill him. At least not quietly. Yeah, sure, we'll take his clothes, too. Although his bodyguard uh, should be able to recognize us, but he doesn't. But it's all fine and dandy. Yeah. Alright! So now, we can explore the bazaar at our leisure. This guy is also selling fish. More fish. Very nice. Carpets. <laughs> okay, Agent 47 might get a souvenir from this place. But. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Business comes first. Let's take a look around this place. We haven't been on this little street before. And you know what we're going to do, guys? We're going to walk in right through the front door and assassinate the lieutenant in his heavily guarded house. <laughs> That's right. Oh. <laughs> 
is going to be lovely. Now, let's see, where is that bastard? Oh, he has a gun. Better watch out. Oh, he also has a poster of the Khan. You must be a fan of him. The Khan will come in later on into the story. Hmm. And there's a dude on a poster uh, right there on the lower floor. I don't know who he is. Okay, dude, it's time for you to move back into your little position over there. Come on, dude. Why don't you want to make me happy? Now, maybe? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh yeah, you're going for a long, long nap. And let's go one extra step. Place him right here. So when the guards will find him, it will appear as if he. Uh, oh, damn it! It will appear as if he um, drank too much and entered a coma or something. Crap! How am I going to get out of this situation? Oh my god! I did. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. I got it. <laughs> okay, guys. So far, so good. All we have to do now is make an inconspicuous exit. Okay, fantastic. Look at these guards. They have no idea that two murders have just been committed in the past 10 minutes. I hear some discussions. Anyway, all we have to do now is make for that gate over there in the distance and the mission will be completed this has been murder at the bazaar <laughs> yeah this is a good place to take the SVD sniper if you haven't uh, already done so because as I've mentioned uh, the colonel well, if you're wearing the Colonel uh, disguise, you can uh, carry around the SV Sniper through the town unharmed. And there we go, guys! Silent Assassin. Overall rating, Silent Assassin.